It's a case where even though Grego ended up dying there, Grego, of course, uh, knows what Cheer 4 is looking for, was able to just run him around for a long enough period of time that the damage really was mitigated, despite all that ultimate power being thrown into him. Now though, taking a look here, C9, Groudson Surge going to come in from Mendo, pulls into all sorts of close quarters combat going in here, but again, it's Factor Fiction dropping the Earth Shatter, takes down Cheer 4 early on, that damage threat is down, and here comes the Dragon Blade, Shadow Burn moving to the back, grabs Rolf, looking for more, just diving on the support, Zen and Ana both being taken out by Shadowburn, and that's really all FaZe needs to hold for one more push, and you take a look at it, C9 will be down to their left. The cleanup available there, the hook comes in too late to grab him, but Shadowburn taking down Kai Kai is gonna give him mostly free reign, not having to worry about that Winston, now the tanks are going down. All right, well, here comes Dragon Blade and the Nano Boost, sure for not wasting any time, takes down one, grabs two, sure for on the assault, ends up with a triple kill, and C9 finally able to break through this phase defense. They still have to deal Factor Fiction, but they have the number advantage, and they're in a good position now to finish this out. Now, that being said, if FaZe can keep stalling things out the way they are right now, it might buy them time for a second wind. Forsaken has Graviton, and this might not be over yet, Dex. Defense, unless they get a good team wipe and are able to set it up, this progress they've already made is enormous. Well, here comes Graviton to the back, and you see the threat that Ana presents to teams where Forsaken just willing to throw the Graviton on the Ana back. And meanwhile, while it's going on, Shadowburn has the Dragon Blade up and ready. Won't get as much for it as he wants. Grab Shadowburn, not much else. And again, you look at who's on the card. It's Factor Fiction. Drops the Earth Shatter, knocks down two. And it's going to be FaZe holding on off of this. And I got to say, a lot of the big plays from FaZe thus far on Gibraltar here have been coming out of Factor Fiction. His Reinhardt play has been remarkably solid. He does get out right. They do have some of the tools for it. They have a Transcendence. But it's always difficult when up against Shadowburn in a situation like this. Either way... And oh my goodness, Mendo takes out Shadowburn early. They're not going to have that. And C9 moving in for the kill. Surefor will get knocked to the ground off the... Oh no! That is one... <laughs> it's one way. That is one way to deal with the Dragon Blading Mano boosted Genji. Oh my goodness. Getting rid of the problem, but C9... Desperation time. Kaikai jumps in, gets Graviton completely and gets that Factor Fiction trying to win it for his team. Factor Fiction moving in once more, not able to get the kills he's looking for right away. C9 still in and on the point, and here we go. Dragon Blade coming out once more from Shadowburn. In the back line, has two, three, looking for the fourth. And it's not going to matter. Shadowburn has done the damage he needs to do, and FaZe will be holding here right before last. One of the things about Shadowburn what makes him such a great Genji is his use of the mobility. He's, by Mando though, gets a nice hook over top. He's got a nice hook. Shadow Burn right now. Will be going in. Gets slept right in the back. Not gonna be able to pull a Dragon Blade like that. Gets taken out immediately. <laughs> While this is going on, the Factor Fiction swings hammer. Already has two. Gonna pick up the third off the Earth Shatter. And again, it has been the Factor Fiction show in many respects here over the last round and now into this round. Not sure if it's enough though, as the C9 might be able to hold on the end, but they are starting to get overwhelmed. Yeah, Forsaken and Factor Fiction have been playing really well in these tank plays. There was a Blizzard that came down early, took down two key components of this phase squad, but they were able to kind of gut it out and play very scrappy here now. It's kind of reinforced all around the draw. Here comes a Dragon Blade, though. Shadowburn gets back to fight. He died earlier because of that sleep. Didn't get to use Dragon Blade, used it later on. Ends up taking out Adam again, using it to just isolate supports. And two kills here for FaZe. Much better chance of taking this back. But then Graviton comes in from Kai Kai, pulls in four members of FaZe, and Shadowburn finds himself without a team. You just saw the value of ultimates being completely different because you had a Graviton and a Whole Hog come out for phase right there. Didn't get a whole lot because the Whole Hog came out during. Wolf had uh, an ambitious Transcendence. They're trying to bring it back. They thought if they could nail a Transcendence and get a beautiful Blizzard in. Now they're going to still rotate in here as the tanks come back to life for this Cloud9 team. Earth Shatter is it... bound from both sides, but it is still mostly phase cleaning up. Rip with a Valiant. Oh my effort. goodness. Hey. Yeah, Rib making the most of it. Sure, for actually able to get in towards the end. So, this is a case where I don't know if Rib just versus the world should have gotten three kills there. Sure, for though, trying to pile on to a sacrifice will get taken out and it will be phased getting the checkpoint. Sure, for off the top of the shuttle. He might still come back on it. It's going to depend if his team is able to hold this position here. But here comes Shadowburner, the Death Blossom. Shadowburn just goes right in, takes down Wolf. Going now for the Ana. Get to get the double kill here and. Just, you think about it, he got the kill and Shurfur to start things out as well. Just all sorts of Reaper plays being made by Shadowburn. And as a result, FaZe now in a good position to get through Hangar. Here from FaZe, Factor Fiction with the Nano Boost doesn't get anything of it. Just had to be pushed back because of the whole hog. But gets the four-man Earth Shatter, looking for it. Sets his team up for two kills. As FaZe right now 
still in a pretty good position. They are slowly picking apart the remaining members of the C9 defense. Shadowburn gets that back line, and it's Rulf taking him out before the Dragon Blade can come out, but still, momentum-wise, everything in favor of FaZe right now. Rolf is going to try his best, but he has a very small health pool. A nice hook onto the Diva there to prevent the stall out from too easy. Just taking him out of position to even delay that map. That is going to be FaZe taking the first map. There's going to be a tale of Mendo and Too Easy, or something that we've seen time and time again here in Overwatch. Beautiful hook takes in Shadowburn, but he does get a really nice shield from Forsaken, who's been clutch on his allied shields throughout the last couple of days. Another hook from Mendo on it Too Easy is not going to find any purchases. Factor Fiction is the first to die here. Both Rodox rang up hooks, but it is more in favor of FaZe right now. They've gotten a little bit more momentum here. They've been pushing C9 back, and C9, they're going to have a hard time bringing this back. Their best chance here, Adam has a nano boost up. He's going to be throwing it on Reinhardt, and here comes Rib, moving right in on... No, it didn't go on Rib. Uh, I don't know who actually got the nano boost there. Well, he was definitely aiming for it. Shadowburn gets it from the other side. He gets knocked down immediately. He just completely negates all the effects of it. But the, the fear of a Shadow uh, Shadowburn on a Booster Reaper is real. They do throw in the Blizzard late here. This should be phase all, but it's over. But the crying now as Mendo's in. Wolf is going to try to come in and delay, but he might get hooked out here. And that will be FaZe taking the first point relatively quickly here against C9. And, and here comes Groudtong coming out here for Forsaken. Gonna get two members of C9 in it to start things out. C9 uh, thrown a little bit back, and Shadowburn not wasting any time. Nano boosted right in with the Death Blossom. Got zero kills off of the start things up. Finally does find Kai Kai as C9, having conceded a lot of space here the FaZe, and FaZe will be picking up the picks they need in the end. So far, this fair has been rather ineffective, and it's hard to do when your team is already losing heroes, so that he does dodge the hook. They are taking the high ground. There it goes. There's some effectiveness. It's short for Mendo and Wolf. Now we were monitoring the er, problem, but taking a look here at the top, phase four ultimates in their ult bank right now. Forsaken holding on to that Graviturn, and Shadowburn go things up here at the Deadeye, but while that goes on, Rockus falls, so both teams down to support. It's going to be 5v5. And Shadowburn landing some good shots here on the sure four, definitely keeping the ferret back and showing that, you know what? He's not just a projectile DPS player. He can go on to McCree in a pinch. Stone Wolf there. Rib was uh, taken out Factor Fiction as he tried to charge in through that Graviton. I didn't able to do so. It is Brawly down there, but right now FaZe getting the better of it as Too Easy goes off on his whole hog. He's looking for more. He needs to find Adam, does not find him in time. Adam and deny that Rez probably get this point. So that is the power of this Mercy. They recognize the power of this Mercy. They're going to run their own combo now. Too Easy now onto the McCree to deal with it. Shadowburn takes up the mantle as his own Pharaoh, while Rockus will support him as Mercy. All right, and uh, Taz running out as sure for just takes down Shadowburn with a beautiful rocket right to the gut. And the rest of C9 going to be piling on on this rib on the Grego. Sure for on the flank. Four kills here from C9, and unfortunately for Factor Fiction, his team is dead all around him. Sure for got fish off of the barrage. Not even necessary towards the end, but as time is running out, why not finish it out with style? It's bloodless, uh, but you take a look at C9, and they're slowly getting better positioning as they rotate onto the point. Rib right now almost on top of it. Too easy, still looking for pickoffs, not able to get them yet. Ends up getting knocked yep. down and isolated. So now at the 65, C9's in much better position to push this in. The sure four will have one less threat that he even has to worry about. It doesn't matter what hero he's on. He always rotates up those stairs, always looks for picks. Now, when it works, it looks brilliant. When it goes like that, he's putting his team in a bad position. He does it consistently on Hollywood defense. Teams have got to have picked up on this by now. He's moving in, and again, it's Factor Fiction still being a rock here for FaZe. Even as things are all going down, he's still able to get pickoffs, and sure for he's going to fall, but it's too little too late here for FaZe. They're just way outgunned, way outnumbered on the point, and for them, they're just going to have to back out and look for a better hold on second. And the upside for them is that they recognize it early, so they will be able to get on the rooftops on second and... Ten seconds? Not even come close to splash damage again yet. Honestly, Genji versus Farah is kind of a weird fight to begin yeah. with. Neither is really great at shooting the other, but <laughs> sure for it goes going in on too easy, not even caring about his counter, taking him out first, gets rid of the problem, looks for Rockus, picks up the double kill, and gonna go for the Raja Fisher, ends up picking up three. And still, as you look at this, they are so close to taking this map. C9 only needs a little bit more. Shadowburn must get another kill to actually take this, but no, he will get taken out. The rest is gonna come in from Adam and C9. Going to be taking Hollywood and evening up the series one to one. Mentioned how Too Easy can be a bit of a streaky player. We saw the bad side of Too Easy there, from dying very early on his Roadhog to, you know, he was the big threat for Pharaoh. But Forsaken finds himself in a bad position, though, as he's going to get frozen, hooked, and killed. 
Mendo with that first pick off on the Forsaken, but Shadowburn too easy coming right in. Uh, Shadowburn off the flank too easy from the front. It's two kills here from FaZe, and Shadowburn just leisurely laying in the damage of Mendo, building up his ultimate. The tanks for C9 are all out of sorts right now, and this is looking very good for FaZe on their first Dorado push. Yeah, that's how most of your Genji's in the game, so Shadowburn will have to be careful of it. But if he gets supported here with the Nano Boost, it's still going to be a tough nut for C9 the crack, and that's very likely where this is heading into Nano Boost Dragon Blade. And there it goes. Shadowburn is going in, has a Nano Boost, takes out two immediately, deleting them off the map, looking for more, has the 3k, not yet sated, and this is going to be a whole lot of extra momentum coming in from the side of phase. The position he gets himself into so quickly, he's dueling oh in the back line. ways of dealing with it, aside from a Miracle Sleep Dart, would be just holding your Earth Shatter for it, but Earth Shatter takes a while to build up, you're not always going to have it. Therefore, though, doing a good job of just maintaining high ground here for C9. Picks off too easy early, does a lot of damage to Shadowburn. Sound Mirror comes out pretty late here from face, and sure for not to be denied with the Deadeye. Picks up an extra two, and this is going to be a full hold here from C9, where, again, sure for positioning and patience really paying off. Into Dragon Blade is something we don't necessarily see that much anymore, but you can really do a ton of damage to a team you hit that combo. Absolutely. Everyone that's in the ground time will almost certainly die. Shadowburn, though, going in, and oh my goodness! Sure for the immediate shutdown, having none of Shadowburn shenanigans, and just like that, those two ultimates for the side of phase not going to do what they're looking for, and it's a big opening here for C9 to take control once more. Grego doing his best to keep his team alive again with another really clutch sound barrier, but a little bit too late as the damage has already been done, and now they're in that mode where they're both going to be discorded and hunted down. Grego still alive, trying to keep himself out of the fray, not able to do so. The only kill they picked up for Faze was on to Kai Kai, who's actually been an area annoying as that Winston yet again is short for. Continues to rain in the damage, takes on Rockus to start this fight. Takes out too easy, takes out Rockus. Sure, four was just completely unstoppable. Goes to the Cree, <laughs> is not going to run Farah versus McCree Zen. That was the breaking point. So now, if you're watching this and looking at game film for how to deal with Sure, four's Farah, you switch to this composition to make him get off it. Not a full cure all if you're not running it to begin with, but at least for now it has bought FaZe a pretty good early defense here. Yeah, that was kind of just throwing body there so that they could get the resurrection off, but it might end up backfiring and feed a bunch of alts because they've just gotten four kills off of that strategy because they were forced to stay on to the mercy. I think Adam's going to be switching the, the first chance. It was on FaZe. Saying the right teams is. <laughs> it's rough right now, let me tell you. But let's like to take a look sure for He's going to use the dragon here, and that dragon comes from below. Just devours too easy. Oh, Opens up a big opportunity right now for C9, 65. Factor Fiction though, firing right back and Factor Fiction again, still being the rock here for FaZe, ends up setting up for two kills and it's gonna let them hold from what was a quick early pick from Sure4. Takes him out the first few slices and goes from there, but he's gonna get knocked to the ground instead. Riv says, welcome to the turf. And unfortunately though for C9, they're not able to take out Sure4 or Shadowburn right away. And this is gonna open Shadowburn to go for the Dragon Blade. Very late, very late. I was gonna say Free go for the right? back line, but this is weird target selection coming out from him. Not at all what you want to look for. And Sure4 takes him out, takes advantage of the confusion. And as a result, C9 will get to the final point, And that is gonna be it. And that was a strange final fight in many respects. Uh, a little bit strange. I mean, desperation from Shadowburn having to bust out that ultimate, but.